what is up guys welcome back to the channel guys i seen this i was searching up all for Sveria and didn't know they had one for norway all for norge and that's what we're checking out for the first time uh i enjoyed the show all for Sveria. i'm also i'm actually almost done with season two I'm about to get ready to start season three here soon and i wanted to start this as well um Cause yeah, I th I think it's a good show. They're gonna be on my Patreon. If you're seeing this on YouTube, had to edit music, different things, the probably the visual as well, just with copyright getting blocked and stuff. So full video will be on Patreon. Dart the Traveler, uh, link will be in the description, and um, you can also check out other things because I have cost like a dollar my patreon is a dollar now because i do music reactions as well so you can get in for a dollar all those different things but alt for nord uh season one episode one we taking that like i said i enjoy the sweden version now we're in norway shout out to norway but check it out americaner all of it that there's no rock with them Samme hva Dang. de gjør, drar de det liksom alltid for langt. Ray Mysterio! Men 4,5 millioner amerikanere skjuler en mørk hemmelighet. Oh, what's the subtitle of the name? De er egentlig nordmenn. <laughs> da levevilkårene ble tøffe i Norge for omkring 100 år siden, takket nesten en million nordmenn Amerika-kofferten og reiste til mulighetenes land. Oh. I dag tror mange norske amerikanere at de vet det aller meste om Norge. Men virkeligheten er at de fleste av dem ville hatt store problemer med det helt tatt å finne Norge på et kart. Allikevel drømmer veldig mange av dem om å reise til Norge og møte sin norske slekt. Nå skal endelig noen av dem få komme hjem. I Alt for Norge gir vi ti norske amerikanere en sjanse til å få sin største drøm oppfyrt. Men først må vi vise seg verdige til å bli kalt nordmenn. Velkommen til Norway! Hver uke skal de konkurrere med forskjellige norske utfordringer. I feel like a Viking! The Norway rocks up! Og kjempe om hvem som takler best livet som normal. Hver uke skal norske fagdommer... I ain't gonna lie for season one, they look like they already doing a lot. Then the Sweden version. Det er avgjør dem som må forlate. Little speechless, and I've been trying to think about what are the words to describe what I think this experience is gonna be. And I am at a loss. My number one goal in this trip is to is to see Norway. Not another past for season one. I preached a sermon one time. I was talking about making a list of the things you want to do before you die. And I just mentioned, you know, among the things I would like to do before I die, I would like to go to see Norway. Hello. Clinton, Texas. My grandmother is Norwegian American, and part of the reason I kind of hoped to get on the show would be to have the opportunity to maybe somehow get my grandmother to mm. Norway. I'm definitely uh, ready, excited, can't wait. I, I have tons of emotions. That's nice. Oh, she know the folk songs. When I was the... 17, I had this very psychic lady tell me, when you're 42, your whole world will turn upside down. It'll be like an hourglass that's suddenly full of new opportunities. And this is my 42nd year, oh, wow. and I've been telling my family, when I'm 42, something big's happening, and I'll probably be gone. So, really, honestly, I have been preparing my whole life. Nice. nice. Yeah, this already different. They... In Sweden, they came on a boat the first episode. They on a helicopter and on the mountains, on the fjords already. Welcome to Dang. And welcome to Norway. <laughs> Your great Norwegian adventure starts right here and right now. Yes. <laughs> Alt for Norge will be a tough journey, full of no, surprises yeah. and challenges. You'll be competing to Alt for Norway, yeah. Y'all gonna come for me. I already know if you made it this far. I know you coming for me for say Alt for Norge. Alt for Norway, yeah. Alt for Norway, yeah. Gonna have a tough journey. Yes. <laughs> Alt for Norge will be a tough Alt for journey. Norge. Full 
of surprises Oh, you're yeah, gonna be like Dar, it's not You'll be competing Nord. to connect with your Norwegian roots and to win back your Norwegian family. Yeah. <laughs> and we found them all. Oh. Yeah. Nice. They're out there somewhere, just waiting for one of you to claim them. <laughs> when Henrietta told us that they had found uh, our ancestors, I, I was very excited. My parents tried to go to Norway and, and find them and never did, so I thought it was kind of a hopeless cause. But they said, we found everyone's relatives, so somebody out there in Norway is related to me. And uh, I think my whole family would get so excited if they could mm -hmm. find out who those people were. Now, before we get started, I can see that the first thing we have to deal with is your outfits and your suitcases. <laughs> because they are not very compatible with Norwegian nature. So they have to repack into backpacks. And I recommend you to bring only the essentials because you're going to carry the backpack for the rest of the journey. Oh. Good luck. Uh-oh. That's a big backpack. Leatherman. Leatherman. Everybody needs a leatherman. Here's a nice, oh, a, a little trendy t-shirt. Okay, they got yeah. hooked up with some nice gear. Food. <laughs> he food. just said food. I brought my lucky hat. It was broke, but now it's mended. <laughs> so, I brought my Pucci scarf collection. Um, I also oh, she brought bougie. my little bikini. Brought some jewelry, just a small part of my jewelry collection. Um, stylish in the rain. Dang. I'll also take, oh, my curling iron. I definitely need to have. <laughs> oh, yeah, she's California. Fresno. Fresno Hi, my expensive. name is Flannery Montaño Good, and I live here in beautiful Fresno, California, and I'm a total fashionista. I am an image and wardrobe consultant, and basically that means I help people to look better. Thanks. Hey, okay, let's see what we have here. This is not a good color on you. I help people to define their <laughs> personal said it's not style a good color. through a process of eliminating a lot of what they have in their closets. I hate NY, so no. No. <laughs> Definitely no. She threw out her whole and closet. And after I remove about 80% of their wardrobe, then we go shopping to fill in the blanks. Let's go shopping! You gotta have some crazy money to be able to do that. <laughs> that is insane. I don't wear polyester. Why not? I need 100% silk. When I opened the bag, I thought the colors were a bit dull and the fabric's a bit rough, but I also thought that they would be very practical. I don't think these are my style. <laughs> uh, bring this with girlfriend made me a scrapbook. Oh, she's got okay. pictures of me and my girlfriend, me and my son. Definitely gonna bring the helmet in this. It's gonna keep me warm. Plus, I'm a he really look like a Viking. Do pro wrestling. Wrestle is Thor of Marius. So, I think I'm gonna want him to come out a little bit during this trip. It's gonna help me with the competition. <laughs> Minneapolis, Minnesota. Oh, so that was his wrestling. I just knew he had a choke slam. I just knew he had it. Throughout the Midwest. When I'm in Norway, I'm going to miss I just knew he had a choke slam. Chanting, screaming my name. But most of all, I'm going to miss my boy. Waddle shut his eyes and went to sleep. He's my light. He's my world. I couldn't have asked for a more lovable, huggable little guy. He really uh, brings out the sensitive side of me that I never knew I had. That's nice. Men ingen av deltagarna blir sent hem denna gång. De ska däremot genom ett grundkurs i att vara norsk som består av tre utfordringar. Den första utfordringen är att gå en fottur i fjällen. Då kan det vara gott att ha något att stötta sig till. So that you can be the chatting amid Staven with me. Oh, I made this for you so we can both be sturdy on our feet because we older gals got to stick together. That's right. <laughs> Thank you. Chatting amid Oh yeah, they really traveling now. Dang, dang. I've never yeah, almost been on hikes. I've ran a lot through the woods growing up, but I've never like went through the wilderness like on a multi-mile journey. 
I have been on a hike before when I was a child. My family would go in Alabama to the mountains and hike, but it was nothing compared to this. They were small. I bet. Chicago, Illinois. Hello, my name is Maya Sirachi. I'm from Chicago, Illinois, and I'm a Norwegian American. Oh, this her. I'm a professional singer. I work for the Chicago Lyric Opera. I sing with the Chicago Symphony Chorus, and I make my living singing. The best thing that I could ever come to do as a singer, star at the Lyric Opera. I want to be the oh, megastar. <laughs> I just hope that I can get along with everyone because my personality, either you love me or you hate me, and I don't think there's anything in between. <laughs> they soundtrack different on this. They got a nice soundtrack on here. It's freezing cold. It's freezing cold. I saw this, <laughs> this fountain that just looked really tempting. Tasted very good very clean not like uh, Minnesota puddle water <laughs> I'm finding socks but I can't eat them oh you want to split my candy with me Cause can you I give me just a gonna... little chunk darling oh that yeah. looks so good yeah mm. it is good but I'm totally surprised uh -huh. weird dang he's trying to eat the wrapper <laughs> that's freaking good you're actually eating the ink off of the, the cover is that ink or is that chocolate? I don't think it's chocolate <laughs> Yeah, but the only thing is, I have to go to the bathroom. You have to what? I have to go to the bathroom. You should, you should uh -oh. go to the Where? Well, you've used the restroom before in the woods, haven't no, you? No, never. What? She's from California. She ain't never did that. Uh. <laughs> never use the restroom. Mm -hmm. Just never. Just go find a, a, like a thick brush or some trees or something and just, you know, <laughs> hide a little bit. Sure? Yeah. I had my first experience going to the bathroom in the wilderness today. <laughs> <laughs> and it was something special. <laughs> Obviously, she had never done it. Uh, today was her first time, and, uh, and I'm proud of her. That's funny. And it's a bit of a struggle getting up, getting up and down those rocks. I'm not used to that kind of country. So how is your knee doing? Dang. Oh, my knee's doing okay. But I, I, I tell you, it's more tiresome than I thought it was going to be. We always go for walks around our town. That's something my husband and I do with our dog a lot, but it is flatland. We don't have any rocks. Yeah, that is different. <laughs> Nearly everyone at Dawson okay. are of Norwegian heritage. That's why they're so excited about me going to Norway. Hey, dang, she got a whole fan base. Seeing them just made me think that they're behind me and that they are wishing me well. Good luck, Debbie. It means so very much to me. Hey, she got I a whole pep rally for her. Embarrass them while I'm in Norway. Oh, oh, oh dang. Yeah, yep. Hey, she didn't have a whole pep rally. Oh. We saw wildlife on our first day. <laughs> Some civilization. Okay, well, now we're somewhere. Well, kommer etter hvert fram til Prekestolhytta, mens Debra og Kari blir hengende igjen lenger bak. Debra sliter med det ulente terrenget, og Kari prøver å hjelpe henne så godt hun kan. Use it almost like a banister on a stair. I felt like I, I wanted to walk with Debra because I didn't think it would be good to leave her. She was struggling. That's a lot of rocks. I would have twisted my ankle by well, now. Well, I twisted my knee and I twisted my Ooh, ankle and I nice. sat down hard on my keister about Not a uh, keister. three times. So my tailbone hurts right now. Let's move out of the way here. Wow. Somebody running up the rocks. You know, there were so many Norwegians of all ages that were running past us. I mean, they had no trouble getting up and down. And here I was concerned about uh, twisting my ankle or my knee. So they seemed really, really Dang. physically fit. I was totally impressed. Hello, guys. I know I'm not the best. Norwegian here, but you know what? I 
hung with some really great Norwegians. Awesome. <laughs> it was hard. I hurt. I'm not acquainted with making that type of a trek. If it wasn't for I my friend tough. Kari helping me out, I don't think I would have made it. I think maybe right. some of my family were as fit as goats and were passing me by on that mountain. <laughs> I'm almost certain of it. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Hi. You all made it. Yes. Yeah. How does it feel? Great. Great. Amazing. Amazing. Beautiful. Well, this is your camp for the night. Oh, right. mm -hmm. okay. It's a traditional Norwegian vandrhytte. And uh, all over Fun Norway you can find yeah. cabins like this that people use when they're out trekking. I bet you're hungry? Yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. After a long walk? Very. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I've prepared a traditional Norwegian dinner for you. It's called rømmegrøt. Oh. And it's uh, served inside, so velbekomme. Thank you. Oh, that is nice. Dang, that is nice. This is rømmegrøt. <laughs> is this the whole meal then? Well, yes. Like dinner? It, it could be like a porridge. Um, well, I just usually just put a little sugar on top. Oh, she knows. And a little bit of cinnamon. I love rumagrut. It's very nourishing, and it, it just... Um, oh, know, she really lives out of her Norwegian roots. Can you not put sugar in it? You may certainly not. In fact, you can put uh, people in it if you want it. Um, yeah, it needs something. I used to. Yeah, I am not. He said it tastes like the glue I used to. It tasted like paste or glue or un, um, fermented oh, dough. Yeah. I put more sugar, more sugar, more cinnamon, and it still didn't taste good. You have to add a lot of sugar and cinnamon to make it taste like anything, so what's the point? You might as well eat Dang. cinnamon and sugar. It tastes really good. Some apple juice in there? He's smashing. <laughs> I'm sure every country has pancakes, and it tastes like the batter before you cook the pancake. Kramagat? <laughs> I can't say anything in Norwegian. <laughs> I feel good about Kramagat. It was yummy. I don't know why people have a problem with Kramagat. Kramagat? Kramagat. Kramagat? <laughs> No, so high, high notes right there. I'm gonna go Dang, I woke up in Norway. <laughs> to wake up in Norway is a very overwhelming thing. It's hard for me to even explain it. Hearing the birds, and I'm trying to listen to the birds in the morning, and I think they're all singing in Norwegian. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Norwegians know about sleeping. I think your pillows are just way softer. Your mattresses <laughs> are more like they sink lower. Yeah, it's just a better experience all the way around. Joe. Yeah. How'd you sleep, bud? Just fine. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I know that bed was small for him. Fantastic. Who snores, by the way? Who snores? Uh, Me? Uh, oh no. <laughs> it's alright though. Don't need much rest, right? I didn't get a really good sleep last night. Uh, my, I have a roommate, Grant, and he snored, so I barely <laughs> got any sleep at all. You know, I actually, uh, my wife told me that my snoring stopped after I had some surgery this winter, so I thought Dang. I would be fine. Oh my god, it is so gorgeous. I'm bunked up with a like, seven foot Seattleite and a Lutheran minister wasn't a lot of dark last night. And besides the, the snoring issue, it was fine. <laughs> Another California. I have a dream of being a singer-songwriter. Um, if I could combine passion for playing music and sharing it with other people and find some way to do that and make the money I need to survive, I would be a happy man. Where are they going? In the morning when the sun makes its shadows. I joked around with Matt the night before that, you know, we should jump in the lake. Wrestle for who goes in first? Yeah, who wants it? I didn't think he was serious. <laughs> 
So he's gonna jump in. I don't want to look any weaker than him. I gotta jump in too. I bet that water cold. Well, of course it was cold, but it almost felt like a baptism almost. Like all my body, my cells just <laughs> squeezed together, and when they opened up again, I was a Norwegian. Good will. What? I Alfa Norge har vi hentet 10 norske amerikanere tilbake til forfedrenes land. Her skal de bevise at de kan leve som ekte nordmenn. Dang. Den av dem som takler det norske livet best for å møte sin norske familie. I want to see this thing through. I want to meet my family. Før pausen så vi at deltagerne begynte på et grunnkurs i å være norsk. Alt for Norge. Norway. Vi gikk fotor i fjellet. Og de spiste rømmegrøt. Fra med gutt. I can't say anything in Norwegian. Nå skal de fullføre kurset og vise at de er klare til å mestre livet som nordmenn. Please enjoy grilled whale. That would be funny. I probably would have had the same reaction. I definitely would have had the same reaction. Grilled what? Whale. Good morning, everyone. This grilled killer whale. Did everyone sleep okay? Yes. Yes. Soon I will send you off to school for a Norwegian language class. But no Norwegian student goes to school without their matpakke. Innerst i den norske folkesjela finner vi matpakken. Matpakken? Matpakken oppstod i Oslo i 1926. Maten som ble servert på skolene var helt kokt og dårlig. Løsningen ble en enkel matpakke som bestod av to-tre brødskiver med pålegg. Red cheese, cucumbers. Matpakken sprette seg og ble populær over hele landet. I dag tar vi den med i skolen, på jobb og ut på tur. Nå skal amerikanerne prøve å lage den klassiske norske matpakken. Så the second part of this week's crash course is to make what you think is a typical Norwegian matpakke. I'll be the best. And you can choose from all the food on the table up there. Just feel free. Good luck! I'm gonna be into it. Bordet er dekket med alt mulig av matvarer, men kun et fåtall av dem er vanlige i den norske matpakken. Oh, that's good. Sounds so good. Matpakke? 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 That is a tough word to say. They might just be hungry and be like, let me just grab what looks good. That's a makkja. That's a makkja. And it's a slim gym. When I was making my makkpak yak, I saw the table full of things, and I just picked all these interesting things, like the snowman and the fish sauce and the donuts, and I just pushed it all together. Wow. And it was fun. Okay. Makkpak yak. Mens Flannery går for alt hun synes ser godt ut, smaker Joseph og Matthew seg mer fram. De prøver blant annet ut gammalosten. What is that, butter? Part of it like a joke? I think so. What is it? I don't think I want to put that on there. A lot of carbs. I had no clue what I was doing. I just kind of picked some meat from here and some cheese from there and some bread here. And it was a learning experience. Oh, four words. Dang, he down the street. Dang, Fort Worth. That's Howdy. crazy. I'm Clint Admire. I'm 27 years old. I'm from Fort Worth, Texas. And I'm a Norwegian American. I got family in Fort Worth. I expected him to be like in some other town in Texas. Everything is bigger and better in Texas. I know Facts. everybody's heard that, but it's true. The difference Facts. between a Texan and a normal American is probably pride. I think we hold our head up a little bit higher. 
I'm a videographer for a television show in the United States, and the basis oh, of the wow. show is we travel the United States hunting animals. Oh, it's nice. The opportunity cool. to get to meet my relatives is is incredible. I think that's the neatest thing in the world that it's a stranger, but we're a part of each other. I think that's the neatest thing in the world. Let me see what you have here. Matpakia. This is my matpakia. <laughs> I took two snowman cookies. What in the world? Two donuts, a pancake, and a, this is pink sauce. <laughs> <laughs> Ew! This one's fish. <laughs> <laughs> well, very nice job. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me see yours, Debra. What made you use this uh, Ziploc bag here? I thought that was Norwegian. Yes, you thought? Yes. Well, in my heart, I knew I should have used the paper product, but, you know, I just went along and did the easy American thing and put it in a Ziploc bag. Not the Ziploc bag. Joseph is ready for to be salty and take with him enough food for the rest of the day, and probably also enough for the whole gang. Joseph, let yeah. me see yours. Well, uh, <laughs> I got three of yes. these with jams, different kind of jams. And here? Um, those are my uh, it's a <laughs> lunch sandwiches. This is more snack, dessert. Okay. Vegetables and uh, a sausage. Small sausage, yes. And then uh, a couple more with. When I first Boy, no heard word. of Mott Pocket, I okay. thought, okay, Mott yes, we a lot of food together for the whole day. Now I'll show you what a typical Norwegian Mott Pocket looks like. <laughs> Dang. Oh my God. This is it. <laughs> Just a sandwich. It does not look like lunch to me. It looks like a very tiny uh, snack. Maybe something you <laughs> have before a um, regular snack in America. It's an it interesting like a snack concept before a snack. that uh, Americans should probably adopt. Uh, the portion size uh, would probably trim us up a little bit. Okay, yeah. <laughs> now it's off to school. Thanks. Okay. Right. Don't forget your mouth, okay? Okay. Good luck. Dang. Amerikanerne skal på språkskole for å lære norsk. Læreren er en som er godt bevandret i faget på flere måter, Petter Skjerven. Be ready. Welcome. My name is Petter Skjerven, and I'm going to be your teacher today. Norwegian language is not very hard to learn. We have, of course, a lot of English words in our language. Maya, can you please... That is... Service. Yeah, service. Service. Uh. We say service. Yeah. <laughs> service. We say service. service. Maya? Is that an owl we did? Guide. Guide. <laughs> oh, what Peter is... wrote some simple English words on the chalkboard oh, and he asked God. me to pronounce them in English. Corny. Yeah. Right? Yes. Whatever. I'm an opera singer. <laughs> she started press. She Corny. started saying something new. Corny. Mm -hmm. Corny. Corny. He's very handsome. <laughs> I thought he looked like Robin Williams. <laughs> He's very nice. <laughs> and uh, there's also a lot of Norwegian words in the English language. Fjords, ski, Fjords. ski. Smorgasbord? They don't use that in Norway. No. We, we think it's a Norwegian word. Oh, that's word. Swedish. Smorgasbord, oh. yeah, that's Swedish. Oh, whoa. <laughs> he said, oh, no. Never say that again. <laughs> <laughs> Another Minnesota. <laughs> what? <laughs> I played the Hallelujah song. I'm a Norwegian American. I'm a Lutheran pastor in Minnesota. Hallelujah. I enjoy being a minister because it gives me a chance to care for people and to be with people. In this kind of work, you have to be a people person, and I think that's what I am. My number one goal in this trip is to, is to see Norway. I uh, even preached in a sermon one time. I was talking about making a list of the things you want to do before you die. And I just mentioned, you know, among the things I would like to do before I die, I would like to go to see Norway. Amerikanerne har fått utdelt lapper med ord og fraser, og ved hjelp av dem skal de prøve å holde en vanlig norsk samtale. Hei, jeg er det, Debra. Matthew? Hei, jeg og måte deg Debra. <laughs> exactly. That's nice. <laughs> okay. Doug, if you accidentally should uh, yeah, bump into someone in, yeah, in the tube or something, what would you say to him or her? I'm skilled. 
And the response, Excuse. Flannery? I have nothing. Yeah, that's great. We don't talk <laughs> to strangers. <laughs> <laughs> I have a hard time with Norwegian vowels. I learn by looking, you know, reading, and I don't know what the sounds are that go with each of these these letters. Vår gamla är du. Jag är 53 år. År, år, år. Vår gamla är du. Ja, du, du, du. Vår gamla är du. Jag är 53 år. Du, du, du. Vår, år. Jag är 53. Or, you know, that's, that's, I, I can tell people I'm 53 years old, but uh, that's not terribly useful. Unskyld kan jeg låne avisen din? Buy and hit jack for din tilbake. Very good. Can I borrow your newspaper? Yeah, only if oh. I get it back. Ah, ah! Buy this, jeg. Buy and this for din tilbake. For tilbake. Buy and fill this thing. Buy and fill this thing. Love a fucking. I can't even say that. Who, Kufe, Plugin, Hoffen, me? No. Vor gammel du? No. Vor Vor gammel erdu. Vor gammel du? Vor gammel erdu. No. You're not gonna tell me that. Vor gammel du? Vor gammel. I'm missing something crucial. Something about. I think. How old are you? Vår gammel er du? Er du? Ha! <laughs> Norway! <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think that was be, will be it for today. And uh, good luck to you. Okay. Okay, okay. Nå skal amerikanerne få bruke sine nyervervede norskkunnskaper. De skal til byen for å handle inn alt som trengs hey, til kveldsmiddag, bortsett fra kjøttet til hovedretten. Handelisten er på norsk, og amerikanerne blir ikke helt enige om hva de forskjellige ordene betyr. Blant annet sliter de med betydningen av ordet duk. Uh, we're gonna actually get a duck? Okay, I thought the meat was provided. She said I thought the meat was provided. So we know it's not meat. Well, I'm gonna see if... I'm gonna ask someone if it is duck. And if it is... She said she could get the meat. Why would she put meat on the list? It was funny. It, it <laughs> kind of got a little argumentative in the, in the group on one particular... Uh, item on our shopping list. It was. Uh, it looked like duck. D U. It was D U K. <laughs> I. I was pretty sure Duke wasn't duck, but somebody was not so sure. Let's go shop. Uh -huh. All right. Okay. All right. Well, they got some hits on this soundtrack. Clinton and Tari draw a gore for to find out what Duke is. Shit. Duke. Um, Duke. Tell us what this is. Duke. 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 That you have on the table, you know? When you have a party, you have a, a, a table. Tablecloth. Tablecloth. Table oh. Yeah, tablecloth. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I thought it was a duck. Come to find out, uh, duck was a tablecloth. Duke is tablecloth. So that was kind of funny. Nu vet de hva de er på jakt etter. Den neste utfordringen er å finne noen som kan fortelle dem hvor de skal gå for å finne en duk. Do you know where to find a uh, duke? I'm sorry, I'm too much. Oh, no. Uh, when you were here, they... Wait, so, um, do you know where I could get a tablecloth? Duke? Where can I buy? <laughs> oh, she's like, yeah, don't stop me when I'm on a roll. I'm so sorry. Oh, my gosh. Today in the street, I was trying to stop a couple people and maybe ask for some directions and some help, and they just kept walking by. Sir? <laughs> you, uh, Duke? Uh, do I just need... <laughs> Norwegians are a little different than people in the States because if somebody in the States may catch you looking around like you're lost, a lot of times someone will approach you and say, you know, do you need help? Do you need directions? Where are you going? What are you doing? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, uh, I'm afraid not. I, I don't know the town very well. I'm not from Stavanger. Oh. Mm. Well, thanks Sorry. anyway. Thank okay, you. sure. She's from a friendlier place. <laughs> <laughs> Signe, Doug og Flannery har fått ansvaret for all dekorasjonen til middagen, men har et svært stramt budsjett å forholde seg til. We're trying to prepare for a dinner, and we need a very, very, very inexpensive glass to go in. To use as a vase. Right. We're hoping to spend less than 50 kroners, if possible, so maybe something on sale. You can get this one. For 50 kroners? Yeah. Yeah! I use my Norwegian skills 
my be nice, <laughs> my hello, my Norwegian smile, but not so much my language. She mixed. New York, New York. I'm Signe Haraday. I'm 32 years old. I'm a Norwegian American, and I live in New York City. Mary Poppins. So, Ibsen in the United States. Ibsen. I am a New York City actor. For me, being an actor, it's not about a paycheck. I used to do a lot of different jobs, and at some point, I said, "No more." I said, "The only way I'm going to earn my income is through my art." Don't name a city. Aaron is the love of my life. Oh, I miss you. I'm gonna miss you too. Couldn't ask for anything better. Hey, my they parents, even got the Jackson. My mother's Norwegian Bye. American, and my father is African American. So when they had kids, they mm-hmm. figured, oh, we'll see the black in them, so we'll give them Norwegian names. So my older sister, <laughs> that's Sonia. I'm Signe. My younger sister is Solve, and my baby sister is Sylvie. Oh, nice. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you again. Clinton och Kari sliter fremdeles med att finna någon som är er villig till att visa dem hur de kan finna en duk eller egentligen någon som är er villig till att snacka med dem i det hela tatt. Det är bra på sin sida får kontakt med norrmännen men har problem med att förstå vad de säger. Like one block. Jag helt ut sån så kommer det stuka att sån. Okej. Så down there. Ja. Yeah. And then, and then up. up. Up ja. Okej. Helt sån så kommer det stuka att sån. Thank you. <laughs> I hope she understood that. Did you understand what she told you? Uh, absolutely no. <laughs> uh-huh. um, so that way, <laughs> and then that way. Nina? Yeah? Yeah? Around the corner? Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Dang. Finally, the maid is somewhere. And pack a dill. How much you want? Oh, uh, and uh, pack it. Yeah, but today at the market, me and Matt were very fortunate to find a guy who seemed to have everything we needed. Tell me about the wheat strawberry. Was it good? Wow, those are great. Have you ever tasted so good strawberry before? Oh, no, no. really no. sweet, uh, sweet. <laughs> Take one from Belgium. They taste shit. Belgium? Yeah, Belgium. Crazy stuff. Shouldn't it'll be allowed to call it strawberry? Ah, ah. <laughs> Those are nothing like that. You know uh, what? Those are the best strawberries I've ever had. The juiciest, the sweetest. I knew what he meant by this is probably the best strawberry in the world. The hey. best strawberry. Hello. Hello. Hey. hey guys. How did you What's do? Up? Hey guys. Hi guys. Hey. Hey. How'd What's you going do? On? The duck. What's the duck? We duck. What is duck? Clock? We what got you it. Duck. We got the duck. You did. What is the duck? Yeah, what is the duck? Quack 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 quack. quack. <laughs> 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 I'm talking about some quack quack. Kvelds middag skal serveres i historiske havsfjord. De små amerikanerne kommer sig på egen hånd. Check with him to make sure this is the right bus. Could this bus. be the bus to Havsfjord? Yes, it is. Yes. No, I like this. Dang, they got the big swords in there. I Havsfjord blir deltagerne møtt av en kokk som skal lage middag av råvarene de har kjøpt. De vet fremdeles ikke hva selve hovedretten består av. Oh, yeah. That look good. Hi. Hi. You did a great job at the table. Thank you. It's beautiful. <laughs> so this place, it's called uh, Havsfjord. And it marks where Norway was united into one kingdom. Oh, mm-hmm. okay. Tonight's dinner comes from a very controversial industry, but for hundreds of years it has been very important for Norwegian economics and culture. So uh, please enjoy grilled whale. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> hey, look at my hold up. <laughs> I was pretty shocked to find out that we were eating whale today. Uh, I did not expect that. I wasn't ready for it. Um, it kind of angered me a bit. <laughs> to be honest be with you, I didn't know that anybody ate whale. If I had probably known that before, I may have been a little weary, but it just looked so good. It smelled so good. I thought it was very exciting, and I thought it was exotic, and it actually tasted pretty good. I just, I don't know, I just feel like these are like 
not sacred animals, but they're like these animals of the earth who live so long and like, I just feel like I've seen so many things about brutal killings of whales and then I feel like we don't need to farm them. It must be talking about SeaWorld. made me lose my appetite. Oh yeah, in Seattle, Washington. Hi, Seattle. I'm Doug Miner. I live here in Seattle, Washington, and I'm a Norwegian American. Oh yeah, volleyball. One of the player. things that I really am oh, passionate nice. about is volleyball. It was a really proud moment for me when I was able to go over to Sydney, Australia, and win the gold medal in 2002. Oh, but it nice! It wasn't the Olympics; it was the gay games. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love to dance. I oh, sing the Sevens so. Chorus. About 200 men on stage at any given concert. A lot of people go to the holiday show as kind of one of their traditions in Seattle. So it's a lot of fun. My that personal goals funny. are really to have fun and enjoy the experience, and it would be the best thing in the world to be able to win this and also be able to meet my family. This dance was for you, Norway. Man, if you don't eat that whale. Aquavit with this food. Now, have Americans got a little introduction into what it will say to be Norsk? Selv om alt for Norge er en konkurranse, er det ingen som skal sendes hjem denne uken. Men neste uke begynner alvoret. Og i den forbindelse har jeg en siste overraskelse til amerikanerne. <laughs> Now, it's time for me to introduce you to the Norwegian Spirit Award. Oh, okay. Norwegian <laughs> Spirit Award, okay. <laughs> Every week, Spirit award. this award will be given to someone who has shown exceptional Norwegian sportsmanship. Oh, okay. And the winner gets immunity for next week's competition. Oh, oh. wow. <laughs> yes. And this week, the award goes to someone that has shown extraordinary enthusiasm in the person's first That'll meeting. That'll be one of those girls. When Deborah was uh, struggling down from Prekestolen, she was uh, helping her all the way down. Congratulations, Kari. I knew it, I knew it. You are the winner of this week's Norwegian That's Spirit nice. Award. <laughs> You're about to cry. That's nice, though. That's Thank nice. <laughs> and Kari, Helping next hands. week, you'll compete like the others, but you can't be eliminated. I like okay. this. <laughs> when Henrietta gave me the Norwegian Spirit Award, I was pretty overwhelmed. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> um... Because it's such an honor, and you know, it was just—it was amazing. That's nice. And Henrietta presented Kari with the Norwegian Spirit Award. It uh, definitely woke everyone up that this is a competition now. Yeah. And that somebody next week will be going home. Obviously not Kari. And. Uh, Hmm. I, I think everybody's gonna might start being on edge a little bit. Yeah. I think that the Norwegian Spirit Award focuses everyone on the fact that this is a competition, and it also brings home the reality that someone will be eliminated. Dang. Next week, I begin the all for for Norge's deltagere. I want to win. I want to meet my family. I want to make it to the end, and I'm going to do everything it takes to do that. I want to meet my family, so please help me. Amerikanerne skal til Oslo og vise at de kan feire nasjonaldagen som ekte nordmenn. Den amerikaneren som takket 17. mai dårligst er ute av alt for Norge, og dermed også ute av kampen om å få møte sin norske slekt. Horrible! That was a horrible nightmare. I was afraid I was going to cry. I mean, I... I this is good. Dang, I'm gonna like this one. This is gonna be good. I'm glad I decided to do this one, but Alt for Norge. I said Nord. I know y'all still might come for me, but that's okay. But now uh, this is good. This is good. Now nah, I'm gonna have to check out more. Like I said, this is gonna be on the Patreon as well. Of course, unedited version will be on Patreon. Um can't wait every sunday every sunday so gonna be doing these on sundays only but hopefully y'all enjoy this hopefully y'all see this so y'all can know patreon just a dollar that's it but that's all i have y'all hit that subscribe button and y'all be blessed be the best and be you i'm out